Archaeology gives us the opportunity to literally dig into human history, unearthing secrets that continue to surprise and enhance our understanding of the past. But a chilling new discovery of human sacrifice in South America has surprised archaeologists because of the incredible scope of the killing. Correspondent and archaeologist Jago Cooper traveled to Peru to investigate. Peru is home to some of the most amazing ancient civilizations in the world. The Inca, the Moche, the Nazca. Right now, I'm in the heartland of the Chimú civilization. I'm here to meet Dr. Gabriel Prieto, who's made a remarkable discovery. Gabriel, how are you? Good to see you, man. Where is the site? It's very close by. Would you like to walk there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Just down the road from this sleepy cafe is one of the most impactful discoveries in the history of archaeology. So tell me about this site then. This site has been occupied for more than a thousand years. Amazing. This region was the heart of the Chimu Empire, which arose 700 years ago and controlled more than 600 miles of coastline. Today, it's a great South American surf spot. But it was once known as Chan Chan, the capital of the mighty Chimu Empire. A few years ago, Professor Prieto was part of a team that uncovered bodies buried in what was once the outskirts of Chan Chan. But that was just the beginning. More bodies and artifacts are still being discovered here. This is one of the human sacrifices. The preservation of the tissue and also of the cotton fabrics is remarkable. We haven't found this kind of preservation at any other site. And also the hair, and getting the hair. preserved hair coming through. Yeah. But what's most rattling is the size of the bones themselves. All the bodies are children. How many of these children have you found? In total, considering the excavations we made in 2016, okay. we are almost 100. That's a lot of children. Every one of these young boys or girls was laid out in the same direction, facing west towards the sea. And is that usual for Chimu burials? No, all the Chimu burials are always facing north. That's weird. Yeah. It's another piece of evidence to support that this is not a cemetery. They are clearly yeah. giving a different message. In addition to the children, researchers have also uncovered hundreds of juvenile llama skeletons. It appears the people and animals were killed at the same time and buried together. What's the rope used for? The llamas is an animal that has a lot of strength and they are very nervous. Mm. So wrapping their limbs with this cordage prevent them to escape. This is clear evidence that for the llamas, it was a very dramatic moment. Interesting. Yeah. Do you get the same rope on the children? No, we haven't found any ropes on the children. We don't know if the children were dragged but my personal opinion is that they were very uh, awake mm. because I think that the Chimu priest really wants to hear the, the screaming and the, and the cry of the children during the sacrifice. As an archaeologist myself, I've studied human sacrifices throughout history, and I know this one is of a magnitude the world has never seen. And I'm on a quest to discover why a culture would slaughter its next generation. Professor Barano, nice to meet you. Yes. Should we have a step down yes, and have a look? Mm -hmm. sure. Professor John Barano co-leads a team of students who have helped uncover important new clues about who these children were and the manner in which they were killed. What we found is that their sternum had a horizontal slice right across it, which indicates that a cut was made and then the chest was opened. And why were they trying to open up the ribs? Well, we think it was to get at the heart. It's the only logical thing we can think about. Wow. And is the same process of death visible in the llamas as well? Yes, for the same reason, to take the heart out. And so, new clues surface, hinting to why this ritual slaughter was performed. Each human body is accompanied by a llama. They are cut open across the sternum, most likely to remove the heart. All the children were killed at the same time, more than 500 years ago during an era when human sacrifice was a religious ritual. We've pulled out as much information that we can from these burials. 
We need to take them to the laboratory to start the analyses which can tell us more. 